The programme in 2010 covered the challenges facing Africa's leadership, its challenges also in regard to infrastructure and governance. It further recognised that to compete effectively, the continent, the continent needed to, amongst other actions, ensure governments and leaders get on board, invest in, and drive the rebranding of the continent. Branding must be a key part of the planning, policy, and strategy of a country. This point was driven home last year by Simon Anhalt, who we had present at the summit. We also recognize that any successful nation brand starts at home with a strong internal connection to the brand promise. And we also need to develop transparent and open communication channels between the media and government. The continent's achievements thus far include strides being made by governments on the continent to collaborate and cooperate. The recent signing of the free trade agreement between the economic communities of the East, West and Southern Africa is a case in point. African countries like South Africa and Kenya have initiated internal national pride and active citizenship programs. This approach also recognizes that it is not only the role of government to drive a nation's brand reputation, but also the responsibility of the private sector and citizens at large. On this, we are grateful today to have Dr. Demisa Moyo, the author of How the West Was Lost. And for those of you that didn't see that very impressive lineup of branding intelligence out there, um, I'd urge you to, and I'm not being paid a commission by this lot, by the way, but I just think that it's really important that um, you know, we have this sort of information available to drive our own sense of decision making. She graces us yet again with her presence this year, and we're grateful that she makes the time to join us, and as she did last year. There are ongoing efforts by the media and government to work together in nation building, contrary to the popular notion that there isn't communication between governments and the media. There is consistent work being done in this regard. Brand South Africa now has its strategic and operational accountability relocated to no less than the presidency of the country. This speaks to the need for African for nation brands to be located at the nexus of a country's planning, policy, strategy, and I dare say monitoring and evaluation as well. Our panel on governance and sustainability will further interrogate this. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, this year. Our theme is proactive leadership as a catalyst for inspiring growth, reputation and competitiveness.